This month, we are dealing with the issue of prevailing prayers. And I do about 20 minutes and we go. Because from one, I'll be under prayer. Luke 16, from verse 14. Please listen and listen to me and listen where our fasting has started today. I thought somebody was going to clap. <laughs> All our branches, including Believers Connect, everybody is fasting. And it's until bishops on the 20th leaves that the fasting finishes. How many days will it be? You usually calculate from your... How many days will it be from now till the 20th of October? How many days? But like I've written to us, on Saturday is 12 we break. On Sunday, once the service is over, you are broken. God has had us. Make sure that every day you find the way of praying. Every other day, don't fast beyond three. Except you have a personal reason for it yourself. Three is okay because it's a long stretch fasting. Three is okay. But make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. We are praying on three major things. Number one, church growth. Family growth. If you have family, if you don't have family, the family that will be generated from you, you are needed to pray over that family. Ahead. A prudent man for sis. Then number three, he, your personal growth. I mean exponential growth. That brings about the fulfillment of the plans and purpose of God for your life. You read in the book of Acts how the church grew, how they increased. Growth gives joy. It gives joy. You yourself will be joyful at your own personal life. And Jesus said, it that you have not asked anything. Say, ask until your joy is full. See, asking the Lord is free. But when God brings the answer, it may surprise you. If you ask for a turtle, God will give you a turtle. If you ask for Bentley, a turtle will walk to your house from the sea because that's what you work for. <laughs> if you ask for a Bentley, God will not only give you, he can even give you more because he's able to do exceeding abundantly above what we think and ask according to the power that is at work in us. So Jesus told his disciples, he tattoo you have not asked. He said, ask until your joy is full. I know what makes my own joy full. I want to see powerhouse in hundreds of thousands of places like I saw it that the Lord showed me in 2003. I saw heavens open and I saw houses fall down and fill the earth. They were white houses, blue roofs and blue doors. And it was called powerhouse. As at that time, I'd given up on pastoring. I told myself I don't want to pastor anymore. I just want to be doing ministry around. And I was going to Congo, going to everywhere. I said, it's free. And they will be giving me money. I said, all oh, this pastoring. No. People don't even know that you exist in the pastor. That was when, and I told one of my friends, ah, you are a pastor. He said, God wants you to plant churches. And he said, the name of that church now is Powerhouse. It's not the name you'll be calling it. Victory International Center is what we, Victor's Word, is what we used to call our church that time. He said, God has, you started in 1999. He said, 2003 is when God has his own name. That's the reason why the Powerhouse comes from God. So I'll be joyful to go from one nation to another and sit thousands of powerhouse churches everywhere filled with people like air because people here 99.9 percent .9 of people are born again and filled with the holy ghost and on fire for god in their own right that is the way i like to see church that is the only thing that can fulfill me and as at that time also i have my private jet going around with my wife answer we want to follow in a private jet and i know ebenezer will not yes ebenezer says is there it's only if you are working with leg that these people cannot be missing <laughs> They will query your missionary ship. <laughs> and you listen to what I'm saying. Praise God. So we are starting. And that's the reason why we are doing teachings on prayers. And please open your ears as I teach for about 15 minutes. Please open your ears. Very important. Okay. Act 16. Act 16. From verse 14. Please. And I will read a few. The book of Acts. One of those listening was a woman from the city of Tyra, named Lydia, a dealer in purple. Why have, did I not finish reading the one before the vicar? A dealer in purple cloth. She was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. The Lord will open the heart of important people Amen. to respond to you. Amen. Important job places. Amen. The Lord will open their heart. Amen. Important personalities. The Lord will open their heart. They'll connect with you. To lift you. 
Now the next thing is that God, when she and the members of our household were baptized, he invited us to our home. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, he said, come and stay at my house. And she persuaded us. Go on. The Lord will make people open their rooms. Open their houses. Open their trails. Open their offices. Open their organizations. You will be plunged into a time of favor. Sweatless favor. In Jesus name. Before we go on, please share with everybody on Facebook, on, on Instagram, on everywhere. From the Powerhouse International. Please share with them. And the Lord bless you. In Jesus name. Once, that's where we go now. Once we were going to the place of prayer. We were met with by a female slave who are the spirit which predicted the future. She had a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. She followed God. Go on, go on, go on. She followed Paul and the rest of us. Southing. These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. Go on. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. Go on. When, the, when our owner realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrate and said, these men are Jews and are throwing our city into an opera. By advocating customs unlawful for us, Romans, for us Romans to accept or practice. Go on. And the crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas. And the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with ropes. Go on. And after they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison was shaking. At once all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chain came loose. That's a be your experience. Amen. You are not saying amen. amen. Let me tell you, from verse 16 we learned that they were going to the place of prayer. Coming with them to the place of prayer was a lady with evil spirit. Excuse me. There are people with evil spirit in your place of work. They, you could even be talking religious things together. I will tell you where evil spirit cannot be. I'm coming. Paul was going to the place of prayer. Satan is not afraid of prayer. Satan is only afraid of prevailing prayers. James 5 for 16 the last phrase the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man are failed much effectual fervent prayer of a man in Christ is already a righteous man but Brockinsley you want to do us back you want to do a backstab you want to do a you need to listen to what I'm talking it's so important you listen to what I'm talking please I beg you you will distract me for giving us leg over please Otherwise, we are going to preach together because normally in Nigeria, us as will be around the pastor and they are heavy people. So that is how God bless me. You and Baxa, I think you will be very good so that when people want to come and attack me, when they see chest, I say, that if you want to sleep, you can now sleep downward here. We will be. The righteous man made an effectual, fervent prayer. That is what makes tremendous power it is only when tremendous power is available that Satan flees. Listen to me. All this your papa here, yeah? all this your dog prayers. They don't work. All this we have done. Our I've done my money devotion. Are you okay? That is why you have not been seeing changes. He said, Father, thank you for this money. As I go out today, Lord, when I shave, I don't shave, brother. He that dwelleth in the secret place of no side God. Sir, you don't even know how to quote it. You just had it from your mother. He that dwelleth. Only dwell it, you know, that dwell it in the secret place, in most high, of most high, that most high, for most high. Say, anyway, most high. <laughs> Anyhow, most high. Uh, are you listening to what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. That, that's, that's a prayer that can kick out territorial powers. It's not all kinds of prayer. They were going to the place of prayer. Paul, a giant in the faith, with silence, 
while going to the place of prayer, a witch met them and was not afraid and joined them. You have eaten many times with witches. You have prayed many times with witches. I am telling you a lie not. There are two kinds of witches. Ladies and gentlemen, there are witches who know they are witches and they are going about doing it with gusto. They know they have this power and they use it. There are other witches they are as, as well very, very potent. They don't know they are witches. They come through churches also. I've had them in this church before. They will lure people into LGBT. They will lure people into different kinds of ideologies. They will lure people into different kinds of things. They will lure people into different kinds. There is nothing they will not lure people into. Somebody started coming to this church. And somebody went to them and said, you are a victim. Come into this church. And the person, anytime I'm preaching, is jumping up and down and say, wow, word of God, power, move. Every... The people were now confused. They say, this person told us that we are victims and yet when this pastor is preaching is the one jumping up this guy was saying these are the men of god that have come to show us the way of salvation hey when dr lukoya please listen to me please listen to me when dr lukoya started power must change and the very first they would do in the stadium he said they started around 10 p.m when they started the first prayer a lady fell under the anointing and did not wake up until 5 a.m. In her sleep, she was plunged into a revelation. She and her older sisters that were older than her, I think she as at that time was around 39. She had older sisters that were 45, 50 something. They were all virgins. They were what? Why are you looking at me? Please talk to me. They were all virgins. Nobody has ever touched them, yet nobody has ever married them. Not because they are not beautiful. In her vision, she saw her father. Her father needed money and they said, the only way you can have money is that your daughters will never be married. And he said, what concerns me, I will have gone that time. Let me get the money. And he got the money. So while she was now fighting with her father in the dream to release her, that was when it was 5 a.m. From 10 p.m. that she has fallen under the anointing. Who was the witch in her life? The father. The father, sometimes many of her fathers and her mother did not know that it was a witchcraft. They thought they were just trying to help the whole family. No, we should not be poor and whatever. Let's just help the whole family. I've had my own case like that that I had to deal with. Many of the demons, many of you are, are open from your family. They call them familiar spirit. Familiar spirit keeps covenant. And they are mercilessly it whatever covenant your forefathers made they will keep it for you except you break it it is for you it's your birthright just like simply we inherited the sin of adam without being part of adam and just like simply we inherited the blessing of Abraham without being there the two forces work the same way that you are praying does not mean that satan will run but after many days, Paul kept praying. After many days, God back up praying. And his spirit was so, at the first. He first said, you evil spirit go out. The evil spirit would not have gone out. Because he has not charged up to that level. We can command all demons in the name of Jesus. But Jesus told his disciples, this kind goes not out. But by long, much prevailing prayers and fasting. Prevailing prayer is not long prayer. It's not much prayer. Prevailing prayer is the prayer that is long enough, much enough, and brings result. Until there is a result, it is not prayer you are praying yet. You are just thanking God. Oh Lord, thank you. The witch was with Paul. There are so many people that their ministry, the witches are there, they are the secretary. They are the accountant. I'm telling you, in ministries, a man of God, we were told by Bishop Duncan Williams, married a witch and did not know and was a prophet. It means that the only thing they were doing in their relationship with that, you know there are some relationships that from the beginning you just like the girl. You just touch it. 
After some time, he migrated to just kiss him. Just say, we love each other. We just love each other. Let's just get it married. And every day, you cannot just have enough of each other. You eat ice cream. You're just touchy. You're just... The man of God was just so carried away. If you are not praying in your courtship, you won't know the demons that each person carries. Each one of you carries demon. Hey, look at this one. Here. Each one of you carries demons. If you are not praying, it just oh, anytime I come around you, I'm just blinking. What is making you to blink? Then why are you telling me? Keep it to yourself. Because as you are telling me, you are going to make me blink. It's contagious. Then we now blink together. I'm blinking now, handed up under blanket. You are not blinking under. You are not blanket blinking. <laughs> you now become blinkage. Are you listening to what I'm saying? God might have meant you for each other, but not handling each other's demons through fervent prayers brings a problem. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? This girl was so audacious. Satan is not afraid of prayers. He's only afraid of fire. When prayer becomes fire, he runs. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? Poor Chad, get out! The demon, as soon as the demon, there was a reaction. They put them in prison. When they put them in prison, Paul continued with the same prayer favor. He prayed to a point. Earthquake happened. That is the fulfilling prayer. Earthquake. Whether I feel you or I don't feel it, I just want to make sure that eventually that my bands, my chains are loosed. Earthquake happened. The foundations of every problem was shaken in the prison. Doors flung open. They discovered everybody's chain. If there was a witch in that place, he was delivered. If there was a wizard. If there was somebody with family problem, he was delivered. Everybody's chains fell off. Whether spiritually or physically, everybody was loose. Everybody they have done anything to was loose. That is what we cover. Let me quickly see this. Second Kings chapter 3. Give me from verse 24. And I ran off with that. Prevailing prayer is the prayer of a person that, is, that has sustained injury and is in pain and wants it quenched. Every other prayer is the prayer of somebody who is just enjoying life. Like I was talking to Ebuwa and uh, Kido yesterday. Many of you do not know that many African marriages, I heard it from Apostle John Suleiman, many African marriages, it is the day Especially the traditional one that they want to connect you to the gods of the land. It has happened to me before. They were just praying. They were praying in Jesus' name, praying in Jesus' name, praying in Jesus' name. When it was denied, then I say, Oh God of our forefathers. They were mentioning all the gods. The first thing that happened to me was that we were sleeping after we finished the traditional. We were sleeping in the village. And I was speaking in tongues. I've always been used to speaking in tongues throughout. If you see me on the flight, you will see me praying in tongues. I was just praying, ratota. I would sleep a bit, ratika, rakat. I slept to a point around three a.m. A hand touched me. In the luku, idumujuna, data state. A hand touched me and shook me over. I said, "Get out! What is that one?" In the name of Jesus. Few minutes later, I stood up. I went to their house. I went to outside to go and wee. I lay down. Twenty minutes after, like so. My father's driver that drove for there stood up and fell down, became epileptic. Everybody stood up, began to pray, began to do everything. We now ask him because he could not drive us back. What is this epilepsy? He said, This is the first day I'm experiencing it, that it has never happened to me in my life before. That was what will have happened to me. Few days after that, as we got married in Lagos, my house got burnt from nowhere. A cat from nowhere entered my house. There was no way to enter. My door is like this door here. A big cat and it was not open. I just found the cat on my couch. And he was sitting down looking at me. I said, cat! As I said, cat! It disappeared for one hour. We couldn't find it. We speaking in tongues. Like, it came out. I killed it. I burnt it. The following day, the fire I used to burn it burnt my own house. There was no fire from anywhere. 
Only my apartment, out of all the apartment, number three, the Tornado Street, was burnt. From that point, my wife, of blessed memory, began to see Grand open its mouth. He said, I'm sleeping. Grand open its mouth. Say, a big fish say, I'm coming to kill you. One day, we were sleeping. Physically, I saw a man walking. He said, I've come to take this girl. You will save yourself not being connected to the gods of the family. There are gods in each family in Africa. Except your parents are born again, they are the only ones who give you out. But many of the time, they are too daft to know that. They will go and call the whole community. We must dance. That's to a cool you. They say, now, when we marry for this our village, the wife must sweep the market for three months. One of the things I told my parents in law is that if you give me your culture, if I give your daughter our culture, everybody will run. Because he has to sleep on the same bed with my mother for three months and wash my mother's everything, including Hondi. Don't forget my mother doesn't use pad. We, they don't use pad, they don't know the burning of pad, it's only cloth they use. I used to be the one washing them, so my wife will have to wash them. It's, 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 <laughs> I said, because it's culture for culture. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so some of them, you, you just be going, he said, I've bought all my traditional dresses. You just walk into witchcraft without knowing. That's the reason why you see Oropo and all of them, they are doing traditional mar marriage. Everybody's crying. Ah, he brought a band of intercessors of colors. Like, sometimes you say, these people, their own is too much. If you know you cannot do that, just go to court. Get married and face your family. Yes. Do you need money? My husband will give you money. He said, I'm so sorry, you know, can I need that? Say, but to do those right and whatever, I didn't dishonor you, but I wanted to save my head. One of them went home to go and marry. Somebody placed hand on him, he was a billionaire. From that point, every business was lost. Because he just said, I have money, sir. Buy 39 cows. Yeah, for the illa. <laughs> It's, it's not like that. It is a day to connect you to the gods of the land so that they can follow you. In Yoruba land, they will pour water on your, on your legs. As you are coming, say, wife is coming in, they will pour water in your, to enter into the family. A lot of rituals that we don't know the meaning. That we just enter into covenant without knowing. And some of you are still here and you are still calling back on the gods of southwest and southeast and not, so, not west <laughs> and not north and south-south. Over here. 